guys, it's Nicola with Intimate Wisdom. So we'll be working on the Taurus Weekly Read. Hey, I'm excited about that. Taurus Weekly Read for October the 15th through the 22nd. How y'all doing? So let me get this out of my hair. I'm a y'all got pink hair. Anyway, let's continue. Taurus, what energies do we have for the week of October the 15th? 15th through the 22nd actually this is the 16th so y'all let me fix that October the 16th through the 22nd what energies do we have for Taurus for October the 16th through the 22nd what energies do we have for Taurus October the 16th okay through the 22nd October the 16th through the 22nd Usually I do it from Sunday to Sunday, guys, but um, I'm late, so this is going to be from Monday to Sunday, but it's still a week, y'all, so let's work with that. All right, let's see what we have for Taurus. All right, we got the Eight of Cups um, as underlying energy. Maybe some of you guys have moved on from the situation. The last two weeks been kind of hectic for us. It ain't been uh, all peaches and cream, guys. You know, it's been kind of uh, kind of rough for us for these last two weeks. So definitely, there's definitely some movement, some walking away. Um, this fell out while I was talking about it. So this is definitely a filling up a trail. Maybe you feel like someone um, betrayed you, backstabbed you, hurt you. Got the ten of swords there, and you're ready to move on and search for something more meaningful. Now, it's Sunday, yesterday, we got the Eight of Pentacles. So this is skill work, um, being rewarded. This is learning there all, all there is to know about a topic, working towards something. Um, since that was yesterday, we're not gonna pull for that. We gonna move forward. Monday, we got the King of Cups. So this is opening your heart and mind to those around you. Maybe opening your energy to someone. Um, getting heartfelt advice from someone trustworthy advice from someone um this could also be you needing to be open to other people maybe do some charity work help out someone in need um any of the sorts all right so let's see why is the king of cups in monday's position for taurus why is the king of cups in monday's position for taurus okay we got the knight of swords so this could be opening your energy to the, someone around you um, and this could be, I would say the King of Cups is like the ultimate love. So maybe someone's coming in um, with the idea of love or with the, um, or trying to present love to you. And this might come in a hurry. This might require your immediate um, attention. We got the Knight of Swords to clarify that. Give me one more. Why is the King of Cups here? Yeah, this is someone definitely coming to offer love. We got the Ten of Cups. And this, you see it? And this person may be um, a kindred spirit, maybe someone that you're connected to. Um, for some of you guys, it's a Virgo. For some of you guys, it's a Libra. Okay? I pull the Hermit card and the King of Swords. For some of you guys, it's a Virgo. Um, and they may have some choice words. <laughs> or you may have some choice words for them. Okay? So let's go ahead and go to Tuesday. Tuesday, we got the Page of Pentacles. So this is good news about financial matters. This could also be for some of you guys, you're ready to do something more challenging, especially with that Eight of Pentacles and these Page of uh, Pentacles. You're ready to move forward with something. We also got the Three of Pentacles here. So this is being a team player. Some of you guys are ready to manifest um, some things into your life at the moment. Um, and you're going to start this week. This page of pentacles, this is finding out some good news. This could also be someone offering a foundation to you. So let's pull. Why is this page of pentacles? It's in two. Well, all right. So we got the full card and the knight of pentacles. So this is this is like the start of something. But even or this could be something that started and is now at a temporary halt. Um, this could also be starting something and be forced to be at like a standstill about it. The knight of pentacles now. Understand the knight of pentacles, even though it is um a slow moving energy it's still moving this is buckling down getting things done handling your business uh moving forward maybe even some procrastination so someone could be coming in to offer you something someone could be trying to offer um something to you and they could be trying to ask for forgiveness i got the five of cups um clarifying these two cards so this some person could be asking for forgiveness um and you could possibly not be seeing the positives you could be like not even 
trying to hear what they're saying because like I said with the king of cups and money's position this is like the need to open your energy or open your heart to someone um but this is this healing or this situation right here it is slow moving but it's something that is starting okay You're gonna have to make some decisive decisions about it all right <clears throat> I pulled the queen of the queen of swords fell out as well all right, so we got the magician in Wednesday. It says you are ready. You have the resources to man. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Okay, so maybe some, let's see what's gonna happen Wednesday. Okay, so you're gonna have to make a charge. I just pulled two sevens on top of this. So even though you're ready to start something new, you're ready to do something new. There's gonna be a major choice. Um, within the middle of this week that you're going to have to make and either you're going to make them or something's uh, going to make you make them um, Thursday because I got the eight of uh, eight of blah, 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 the eight of wands so this represents things happening at a fast pace delays being over and a lot of things happen at once but you got both of these sevens Wednesday one of them is seven of seven of pinnacles so this is a temporary standstill nurturing that which you have um, planted seeds for it's, it could be working toward a goal or trying to figure out which way to go or how to go about doing something. And the seven of, of wands represents um, choosing your battles wisely, choosing what's the right path for you. This could also be like um, trying to figure out which way to go. So I think Wednesday, you guys are trying to figure out which direction to take your life. And by Thursday, something's going to, if you don't make that decision, something's going to make it for you. All right, why is this eight of wands in Thursday's position? First card to pop out is the Ace of Cups, guys. So let's pull one more. Let's see what this is about. And this is like an abundance of, of emotion, an abundance of love. This could also represent spirituality. The Page of Wands. This is definitely someone coming in offering you something. Um, possibly offering you to move to a new location. We got the Six of Swords. So this represents moving, movement. This could also represent getting out of a difficult situation, but this kind of means movement. We also got the Nine of Cups here. So this is like dreams coming true, um, concerns fading away. This could also be being encountered with the love of your life, especially with this Ace of Cups and Page of Wands. But I need you to be careful. This person may just be a charmer. This person may just be coming in to charm you. Um, that doesn't mean that they're wrong for you, and that doesn't mean that this is the person that you're meant to be with but there could be some words that are said that kind of charm you um in a certain direction that you would normally not go all right so friday but it's very well could be the beginning of a, a wonderful love affair all right friday we got the three of pentacles so this is um being a team player being getting recognized for um good work um this could also be um, like marriages. This could be something dealing with someone on a relationship um, aspect coming to the end, starting a union. Because I see this card as like unions coming together with someone. Um, that's why I always say be a team player. Because it's like you're working with someone toward a goal. So let's see. Why is this three of pentacles here? <clears throat> okay, we got the seven of swords. That's some emotional baggage that needs to be left behind. Um, it could be someone lying to you. All right, but I don't think this is in this situation. Let's pull one more, and I'll let me. I'll let you know. Let me pull one more. Why is this three of pentacles right here? We got the three of wands. Okay, the king of wands. All right, so this is all about second chances and focusing. Um, this could be about healing. This could be about releasing some. Um, this could be about releasing some emotional baggage. In order to move forward, in order to work with someone to get towards something. We got the King of Wands. This could be a, a fire sign. I do see a lot of fire in this I mean, in this thing. I also see, like I said, I seen Virgo and I seen um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. It could be one of those three. Um, but this is like leaving emotional baggage behind so that you can get something new so maybe you guys some of you guys like i said this new energy coming in has sparked some motivation in you and you're ready to move forward with something so there's some healing that needs to t take place so you can get a second chance or a second wind at whatever this is whether this is your career or whether this is just like a love but i do see you waiting for something to happen we got the three of, of of wands so this is waiting for something to happen waiting to for something to take place so that you can move forward 
All right, so sad that we got the King of Pentacles. This represents like the Midas touch, having success um, confidently, having a lot of confidence, being very confident in your opportunities and in um, your actions. So why is this King of Pentacles? In Saturday position, whoa, what do we got there? Okay, so we got the Lover's card. So this represents... um. This could be an earth sign that you're dealing with Saturday that you may have some type of familiar, soul familiar connection with, or this can be you confidently deciding which path you want to do because the lovers also represent choices. This could be dealing with the Gemini as well. Um, but this is like carefully accepting your opportunities, maybe even carefully accepting opportunities when presented um, in regards to love. Okay. <clears throat> you also got the hanging man. So this is like waiting around for something to happen, waiting for something to take place. And I pulled the King of Swords again. So some of you guys are definitely missing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, possibly a Gemini because I got two Gemini um, signs. Y'all, that's my rising sign too. So this could be for me. All right. So um, this could also be, like I said, confidence, um, accepting opportunities, um, distinguish, distinguish, distinguishing between what is right and what is wrong in this situation or even knowing. This is like someone who has to know uh, something who has to know, um, like know the truth about something. So maybe you're going to find out the truth and it's going to make you make a choice in regards to love about something. Okay. And this could definitely, at the beginning of the week, I do see it Monday and Tuesday, finding out some truths, um, having some clarity on some situations. Okay. Definitely having some clarity on some situations. Some of you guys could be traveling for love this week. Um, it may not be um, like you feel like it should be, but this I do see some type of separation with someone you're beginning something with or could have had a separation with someone, someone who possibly left you out in the cold. Maybe they're coming asking for forgiveness, asking for you to um, take into account the situation. And some of you guys are going to be working toward that with that individual. And some of you guys are not. Some of you guys are meeting somebody totally new this week. Because um, I do see new love coming in. All right, so Sunday we got the Emperor. It could be an Aries, guys. This is represented by Aries. This is also structure and logic, organization, leadership. This could be some of you guys going to church, going to some type of organization. Um, let's see, why is the Emperor in Sunday's position? That's my nephew, though. Okay, so we got the Tower card. So this is like coming to a revelation um, about something. Maybe something has to end. Let's see. Mm. So this is coming to a revelation about love. This is, um, hmm. So <laughs> I pulled the Tower card, the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Six of, of uh, Cups. So this represents to me, this represents maybe a soulmate, soul relation, um, relationship possibly with a, a cancer pisces or um what is it y'all excuse me for a minute Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio? I think it's Scorpio. Yeah. Leo. Yeah, that's right. I think. Yeah, that's right. It's right. I'm trying to remember where my water signs are, y'all. For some reason, my mind went blank and I had to look, so it's like a pause in this video. Oh, well. My, I have a lot to have to remember, guys. Okay, so this could be dealing with uh, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um... Let me see. This could be finding out information. This could be a breakup with someone that um, 
is a soulmate relation. This could be the end of a karmic situation. This could be something happening that's beyond your control in regards to love. Or this can be the ending of something and this could be new love coming in. Um, I'm not quite sure. Let me pull one more on this because I'm just... We got the tower card and then we got three love cards right after that. So, I don't know if this is a breakup and kind of a get back together or coming to a revelation about something. And I, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, then I pulled the hangman. So, this is definitely some separation in regards to a soulmate union. Maybe you guys are separated from the person you're meant to be with. Um, we also got the Ace of Pentacles, so this could be new starts, um, inflow of abundance coming in for this situation. But with that Tower card, let me pull some clarity on that Tower card. Why is this Tower card here? You know, this is our reading. We got to get to the bottom of this. Why is the Tower card here? So this could be, oh, oh, okay, okay. Got a lot going on right here. <clears throat> So someone's going to come and ask for forgiveness. They're going to ask for a new start. They're going to ask to start over, to work toward building something with you. Um, now, honestly, this person that may come in, this person may be tied to someone else. We got the double card. And this person may be asking you to be understanding about that. Um, I think ultimately, if that is the situation, some of you guys are going to, you know, try to make it work but a lot of you guys are gonna not a lot of you guys are gonna walk away from it and you're still gonna be single at the end of this now for some of you guys like I said there's a new love coming in this person might be attached to someone as well but I don't think so I think what's gonna happen is this person coming in may be asking for forgiveness but there's someone new in the horizon and this new person is gonna be offering you a new foundation new love um, Possibly even, you know, a whole new life. Who knows? Um, we'll find out at the end of the week because this, this is my reading as well. So let me go ahead and put, put these up and we're going to work on... Um, Y'all, that threw me off. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and work on our love read. So we're going to start off with couples. Let's start with couples, 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 couples. All right. I'm not a couple, y'all. I'm single. That's why I'm starting with couples, because I don't want to know right now. Okay? So, we're going to start off with Taurus couples. What energy do we have for Taurus couple for the week of October the 10th? I'm not October the 10th. For the week of October the 15th, 16th through the 22nd. What energies do we have for Taurus couples for the week of October this? There we go. We got separation. So for my couples, a lot of you guys are being are going to be separating from your partner um, this week. I also got the underlying energy is love yourself first. It says your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. It says time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you guys are definitely going to be um, separating from your partner, possibly due to some information that you find out or something. Um, it could be dealing with finances, but whatever the reason is, there is a separation on the horizon for my Taurus couples. And it could be you that's separating. Um, okay? Let's see. For Taurus singles, what energy do we have for Taurus singles for October the 16th through the 22nd? Someone is definitely involved with someone. Someone is definitely married. Um, someone that you're dealing with is definitely married. I got a poor wedding. It says this situation involves marriage. This is a singles read. So someone is definitely um, married. Um, let me pull one more. What energy? Just like in my read. So a situation that you're involved in or that you're communicating with, someone is married, someone is, is bound to someone else, whether it be a marriage, whether it be a relationship, they're bound to someone else. But you do have this soulmate energy coming in for you for the week of October 16th through the 22nd. So definitely be on the up and up about that. Um, I don't, I couldn't tell you who it is. It's probably, it's different for everybody. I know we're not getting the same soulmate, you know, so just keep your eyes and ears and heart and, you know, third eye and all that in tune so we can figure out who this is and what's going on all right so let's see we're gonna pull three oracle cards what messages guidance advice do we have for Taurus and three of them popped out 
got endings and beginnings. It says the old must be released so that the new can enter. So some of you guys are definitely needing to release this old stagnant energy that is no longer serving you so that you can get this new bright and um, beautiful energy that I see at the end of the week um, for you guys or for us guys um we also got independent it says your independence is a foundation for your success and strength a lot of us as are going through um separations and a lot of us are going through the realization of what love really means to us and it could be more for some guys it's like inner love self-love loving yourself as opposed to giving your love to others so a lot of guys, a lot of us are learning a lesson about self-love this week. And that's why these endings have to come so that you can truly appreciate who you are and what you bring to the table. For some of us, this is a spiritual thing. This is inner wisdom. It says you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So even though we are going through some independent things, happen to be out on our own, this is a great found, this is a great um start or a great foundation for us to begin to love ourselves and have self-love. I love myself a lot. You don't even understand. So <laughs> we'll see what goes on towards the end of this week. Y'all put in the comments, you know, what y'all going through. Let me know. All right. So this is all we got for Taurus for the week of six of October the 16th through the 22nd. If you guys would like a personal reading, all of my um, information is in the description. All of my prices are in the description. You can hit me up on my email, intimatewisdomterror at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net. Um, what else I got for you? If you would like to donate to my channel, you can do so through PayPal. That's paypal.me slash intimatewisdom. And I think that's all I got for you. So until next time, y'all, y'all have a good night.